My first ICD I had placed in 2010, that was quite nerve wracking. It was very scary. It was, I think you could say traumatic because getting that, is it gonna work? What's gonna happen? What am I gonna look like? What am I gonna feel like? What is my wife going to think? All of those thoughts went into my mind. I really resisted it for a while. I probably should have done, had it done sooner. They recommended it sooner. It took me months to a year or so to come to grips that I was gonna need this device. So the day I was scheduled to get um, the defibrillator, um, I guess I admit I was nervous and it really was quite a simple procedure. They took me into the EP or electrophysiology lab and they made a tiny incision and um, they create a little pocket and that's what they put the device. And then from the device, there's a lead that has to be fed down into our heart and that has a screw on the end that gets screwed into the wall of our heart or our myocardium. For me, the process was it was pretty simple. It was uh, outpatient, um, outpatient, outpatient surgery. So we went in, they did just the usual prep, cleaning the area. Um, I think it took maybe a couple of hours, maybe. You don't feel anything. In fact, at one point during the initial uh, implant, I came to, they put you under a light sedation and I actually came to and you're, um, uh, you have curtains around you, white sheets, so you can't see what's going on. And I was, again, chatting with the surgeon as he was doing it. And then at one point he said, I'm going to put you back under and we're going to test it. You know, they just tape you up. You have to wait for the little scar here to heal. And um, the next day they took an x-ray to make sure the lead hadn't moved from the heart. And they tell you not to lift your arms above your your shoulders or, you know, above your head, you know, in the cabinets in the kitchen or anything for 30 days. And after that, I have to tell you, it's pretty easy. Everything went smoothly after that. And I've been living with it now for about six years and have, have had only one need for a charge. But other than that, it's been, it's been, it's been okay. It's been a little uncomfortable. I won't lie. Cause mine is literally on the side of my ribs. Um, they have the battery on the side and the leads to my heart. So other than that, it's been pretty good. Uh, at first, after an ICD, you walk around knowing that there's a device inside your body and uh, perhaps you're worried about it firing. Um, but you've come quite used to it. And after a period of time, um, you begin to accept it as a insurance package that you literally can't live without. Um, the ICD, you forget it's there. You, you know, for the first day or two, because it's uncomfortable and it hasn't scarred in yet. But after two days, I, I don't even know it's there. I've gone back now for two battery replacements since the original. And um, I'm out in a couple of hours and back to my normal routine in a couple of hours. Right now, I, the, I don't even know it's there unless I put on a tight shirt and I look in the mirror. So the ICD is really a, a uh, non-issue. You go in, you have the, the battery changed, the wires stay put. They put in a new battery after eight or nine or 10 years and you move on. The only thing you have to be concerned about is going through an airport and, and a metal detector. Otherwise, don't even know it's there. I decided to change something that could have been viewed as a negative into a positive. So ICD for me now means I can do. And that really is my motto. So having this ICD, it's a blessing. I'm thankful that I have it in case I need it. So for me, ICD now means I can do. And even though it's been traumatic and a roller coaster ride, it's still been a blessing and I'm thankful I'm still here. I'm on my third ICD now. Uh, it was a difficult decision to have it implanted, but with uh, the center of excellence and my doctors, we decided it was a good idea. It was a scary proposition. Um, at the time, it seemed like a scary proposition. I'm on my third defibrillator now, and uh, it's kind of old hat, doesn't really interfere with my life much at all. I go about my business, um, knowing I have a little angel on my shoulder, just in case, uh, has been great. It's been a great comfort to my family.